Every museum in Elmhurst has a new exhibit that takes us to the moon with the help of Snoopy. Visitors can enjoy the display of the 1969 NASA themed comic strips and official NASA photos. Joining us now is David Oberg, the executive director of the Elmhurst History Museum. Good morning, David. Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you today? Great. Happy Father's Day. Thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. We've so, got, uh, got a great exhibit to show off yes, today. Yes. Tell us about this. I have a feeling this is wildly popular. Yeah, it, I'll tell you, uh, this is our third partnership with the Charles M. Schultz Museum, and we always love these exhibits because it's a great intersection of pop culture, very family friendly, but there's always some serious history. And in this case, it's how Snoopy became the official mascot of the NASA safety program. Um, it, there's also some great comic strips that look at Snoopy's trip to the moon, moon a few months ahead of uh, Neil Armstrong. He was the first beagle to land on the moon. Um, <laughs> and just, just a lot of great material in here. So tell us that relationship. You touched on it briefly there. Tell us the relationship between Snoopy and NASA. How did that come to be? So um, after the Apollo 1 uh, tragic accident in 1967, uh, Deputy Director of Public Affairs, El Chop, uh, recognized that they needed some kind of a unifying safety message and a mascot for the program because you were dealing with thousands of contractors and subcontractors on the NASA program. He was a huge fan of Charles Schultz's Peanuts characters and particularly Snoopy and so he reached out to United Features Syndicate and to Charles Schultz himself to see if they could adopt Snoopy as the mascot of NASA's safety program and uh, uh, United Features and, and Schultz readily agreed and Snoopy became the official uh, mascot of the safety program. As a matter of fact, they even created something called the Silver Snoopy Award. Uh, that's awarded to the top 1% of NASA uh, uh, employees. Um, and the pins that were actually designed were flown into space and presented by astronauts. So it became a really big deal and a very highly coveted award. Um, and uh, actually, NASA still uses Snoopy today uh, in their safety program. Really? All right, so, at, so you're at the Elmhurst History Museum. If we come out and visit, what can we see? Well, there's a little bit of everything here. Um, there's a, a very serious history of the, uh, the Apollo uh, mission, and particularly Apollo 10, um, which is what we sometimes call the dress rehearsal uh, for the moon landing. Uh, Gene Cernan uh, piloted a lunar module called Snoopy, and the command module is actually nicknamed Charlie Brown. Uh, so there's that history, but then also you've got the March run of comic strips that Schultz designed when uh, Snoopy becomes the first beagle on the moon. There's some really wonderful nostalgic uh, toys and memorabilia here. You can actually see the sketch up for the Silver Snoopy Award and, and the uh, Charles Schultz's creation of Snoopy the astronaut. You can even see kind of the pencil marks as he's correcting and changing uh, that design a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit of everything for everyone here. We also have a train like an astronaut um, <laughs> exercise station on the north lawn of the museum as well in case you want to train yourself for weightlessness. Uh, you know, maybe we'll get on one of those uh, next uh, uh, missions going to space these That's days. That's great. <clears throat> Lots for the whole family to do. What do we need to know about this exhibit? How long is it going to be there? Do we need tickets, reservations? Yeah, so um, now that we're back in phase five, um, you can come and visit us um, at, your, at your leisure. Uh, we are open every day but uh, Monday, open one to five uh, daily, and then Saturdays 10 to five. We're going to run the exhibit through August 29th, so we've got it for the entire <clears throat> summer. Uh, we have another exhibit starting um, on loan from the Smithsonian Institution's Traveling Exhibit System as well, uh, opening July 1st on the lawn. This is an outdoor exhibit about the actual uh, mission to land a person on the moon as well, just to augment wow. the exhibit. And lots of great programs too. So I'd love you to visit elmershistory.org and take a look at some of the family-friendly programs we have coming up. We'd love to see you come and visit the museum. And uh, there's just a lot to see and a lot to do for everybody. Great. Well, thanks so much for having this exhibit for us. We appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you, David. Thank you for the opportunity. Look forward to seeing you. You too. Thanks so much. Mark? Well, a rare seahorse was